Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Light Up Card Hop with Easy Lights for Pear Blossom Press. I'm so excited to be in this hop because I love these lights. I am going to be making a lot of light up cards in the near future and look at this. Just pop the battery in, push a button, and they're already ready to go. I am using the stamp set Birthdays Take the Cake by MFT for this card and voila they're all stamped out and all colored <clears throat> because that's not the focus of this video i didn't want to spend a lot of time doing it uh for the background i'm using the candy stripes stencil from mft and some milled lavender i don't end up using this background but i was i wanted to it was my original intention and i was putting uh gina k glitz glitter gel over the milled lavender <clears throat> but then i was afraid to run it through the die cutting machine because i had a bad experience during uh my valentine's day videos but i will use it for something else so while i'm ink blending this one i wanted to say i'm not very well versed in light up cards as it is i've only made a couple with the copper tape and amanda made those pretty easy for me at Pear Blossom Press. They're the only ones I've ever used and light up cards always intimidated me. These easy lights though, man, if you've never made a light up card, you will now. They can't possibly get any easier than she has made them here. So I'm using the, I, oh, I can't remember the name of this, but I love this little reverse scallop die and I will have it linked below and that's going to be one of the main focal points for my lights I'm taking a piece of vellum and just tracing a circle for that and now I'm going to spell out the word cake as part of the sentiment that I'm going to be using now I spent a lot of time making sure that these letters were straight you can see I even brought out my ruler <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, it sounds like I'm losing my voice again. I end up using a different panel. You'll notice because my colors are upside down. Because that K just looked crooked to me. I don't know if it moved in the Gemini Junior. Or if it was because of the, the diagonal stripes on the card itself. But I ended up doing it all over again because it just looked crooked. So here I am popping the battery into my lights and just making sure that everything works okay. And now I'm going to take my BG45 Copic marker and I'm going to color my two pieces of vellum. One's for behind the circle and one is for behind the word cake. And now I'm just going to use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to adhere those to the panel now. This is the first panel, the one I don't end up using but it's okay it's still the same thing i'm doing the same exact thing with both panels so there it is <clears throat> and it still looks crooked to me on the new panel but not as bad so we went with it so i took my little slice of cake i added some candles popped it on top of the cake plate and then added some studio katia cake or uh, sprinkles as embellishment and now i'm placing that little tiny centerpiece of my A back in with a two-way glue pen and now we're going to use the sentiment happy cake day <clears throat> but I didn't want white strips so I colored one of them in with the milled lavender and one of them in with the cracked pistachio and I ink blended both of those panels with regular distress ink that first one with the Gina K glitz glitter gel over it that was oxide but these panels were regular distress ink so after I stamped those out with some uh, First Fine Claire Nocturne ink, I heated them up with some clear embossing powder over them. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I thought my voice was doing good, and now it's the end of the night, and I'm, it's fading again. And we're just going to stick those flat to the card base because it's going to have a lot of depth as it is because you're going to double up the foam tape underneath your card base or your card front. So I'm just making sure they're straight with the word cake and trimming off the excess. I'm going to have that slice of cake 
popped up over the scallop circle, the reverse scallop circle. And now we need something for our push button. So I have that little bowl of frosting there and I'm going to use that little interactive stamp set and I've taken the word push and stamping that right on my bowl of frosting. I want to glue that flat to that green uh, sentiment strip and I measured it to make sure that I drew out a rectangle on my card panel. Um, and this is not my card base, it's another card panel, a white piece to go behind that I can put my lights on top of. So I'm just using some double-sided score tape to place my battery compartment flat down on the card where I need the push button to be. And you want to make sure you leave enough room for your foam tape. That's it. And see that? I popped the battery in. They already work. So I have wide open spaces. So I need to make sure that you can't see the wires for my lights. So I'm just doing some measuring here tracing the circle, which I should have done before I put the vellum on, but I wasn't thinking. I also made a line across where the word cake will be. Now I'm just taping down my lights and placing my panel back on every now and then to make sure that the wires cannot be seen, and it's really as simple as that. I'm using double-sided tape to tape them down so I can make sure that none of my tape is seen beside, behind those wide pieces of vellum. But if you don't have a wide open space like that, you can use any tape you want. So after I put these lights down and then I curved and taped down the excess, and you know what? It looks like it's trouble troublesome, but it's really not. And it's nice to have the extra length. I'd rather have too much than not enough to create with. So I just curled it and coiled it. I didn't put any like permanent folds in my wires. I just kind of coiled it and then put tape over it. I put two lights up by the cake candles and then one light down by the word cake and then changed my mind uh, because the candles are centered. So they only needed one light, but the word cake was more spread out. So I needed two lights down there. So I changed that up and that was it. Now I'm ready to lay down my foam tape. I used quarter inch foam tape. I just cut it in half lengthwise after I doubled it up for height. And then in the more wider spaces, I left it at a half an inch. And I made sure that I compared it with my card front to make sure you couldn't see any foam tape. And that's it, guys. It's really that simple. So you can still see my pencil lines, and I made sure there was no um, foam tape where you could see it. And then I made sure that was pushed firmly onto my card panel. And now we're just going to glue it onto our card base. And I used some art glitter glue for that. But I had to hold it down to make sure until it was dry because I didn't want to squish my battery compartment. And here it is all lit up, guys. Look how pretty that looks. And while I'm showing you pictures, I will let you know I did my video a little early for the hop, so I don't have a lot of in information as I'm doing the voiceover, but I will have all the information you need about prizes and the next person in line and anything else you need to know about the hop down below. Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit, uh, hit the link to see the next person in the hop. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now, guys.